Hey guys, we won the lottery. It's Megan, your favorite Arizona realtor, and I'm gonna show you how to win the Wave Hike Lottery too. So there's two ways to enter. You can go on to recreation.gov, and once you're on the site, type in Coyote Butte North Advanced Lottery. This is the way we chose to enter because it allowed us to plan our trip in advance. The other option is to go to one of the visitor center and try to win a same day pass in the morning. So if you win, you get the pass, you get to go. And if you don't, you don't get to go. So we chose to do it in advance, but when you win, you'll get one of these bright colored permits to take with you. And it's a six hour drive from Phoenix. And the last 10 miles of that drive is a dirt road that is very rough. I highly recommend bringing a four wheel drive vehicle. Once you're in the parking lot, there are some bathrooms and some additional information. The hike starts on the Wire Pass trailhead. We stopped at the Kanab Visitor Center for our orientation and picked up some additional resources. That guide with all the photos on it was our best friend. Make sure you have that. It has lots of photos to make sure you are staying on the right path and where you're supposed to be. Um, Whitney is really good. He just has a great internal compass, so he's pretty good at that anyways. But me, on the other hand, not so much. <laughs> But once you enter this part of the hike where there's a big sandy wash, anything beyond that is a permit required area. There were quite a few volunteers on the trail making sure that you had your permit and you were allowed to be there. I do not recommend going without a permit. It is just not worth it, you guys. Um, when they do mail you your permit, they give you two different permits. One goes in your car as a parking pass and the other one has to be worn on your pack. The hike itself was 6.7 miles in total, um, so it's three miles-ish out, three miles-ish back. Um, it was very, very hot the day that we went. Um, like I said, we went in July, in the middle of summer. I don't really know why we did that, but <laughs> nonetheless, we did, and it was 105 degrees out, so make sure you always have enough water and snacks um, to keep yourself safe. All right, and then three short miles later, we were there. And when I tell you that pictures and videos don't do this place justice, I mean, pictures and videos do not do it justice. I was absolutely blown away. The colors that were in the wave were just insane. I don't really know what I was thinking, but I just thought it would mainly be a lot of like oranges. But being there, you could see reds and greens and purples and yellows. And I mean, it was just absolutely insane and so worth all of the troubles to get there. Right where I'm standing is where we stopped and we had lunch. I brought some sandwiches, some cuties, and apples. Always remember to pack out what you pack in and leave no trace. Also be sure to tread lightly. I was also surprised at how fragile the sandstone was, so be very, very careful when you're here. This is us on our way out. Like I said, it's pretty hard. Um, navigating the landscape. So be sure to have that guide that I mentioned or take some photos on your way in. That way you can remember how to get out and keep yourself safe. Obviously that's priority one. And before we knew it, we were back to the car. This was such a fun hike. It was definitely one of our favorites. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and like and follow for more.